Hello everybody, this is Tony Marine. Check this out. Adolf Galand BF109 F2. This is 118 scale version. And I want to say it's from uh, 21st century. Uh, they don't sell these anymore, but I have something exciting to show you, so check this out. Welcome everybody. Again, this is Tony Marine. So, no, I know this isn't the 1989 Jazz Inc. Batmobile that everybody's waiting for. And it's not the Hot Toys DeLorean, of course, that everybody's waiting for in 1.6 scale. But this is my BF109 cockpit that I got from DIB. Uh, I bought this from uh, Time Walker Toys. Uh, they also have a tan version of this plane. But this plane was famous, well, made famous, well, obviously during World War II. And being that Masters of the Sky is out, you know, they're showing a lot of these fighting the B-17s and such like that. So I thought, what a good timing, or perfect timing, because uh, I think the third episode's coming out tonight. So this plane is a, yeah, BF-109 F-2, built around 1936, and it was flown by Adolf Josef Ferdinand Galland. He was one of the most respected pilots of World War II, even by the Allies. He was born March 19, 2000, uh, 1912, excuse me, 1912, and he died February 9, 1996. So this February 9th would make him 111 years old, this February 9th. He died at the age of uh, 83. Uh, so, yeah, again, 1996. He flew during the Spanish Civil War in 1937. He flew with the Condor Legion. He also flew uh, both the Battle of France and the Battle of Britain in 1940. He flew mostly BF-109s, the E's, and the F-2s. He also flew 262s, the ME-262 jets. He earned a Knight's Cross of the uh, Iron Cross with uh, oak leaves. He was third member of the Vermont to do that. Um, and also, I don't know if you guys knew this, but fun fact, Adolf Galland and RAF pilot Douglas Bader were pretty good friends after Adolf Galland ended up shooting Douglas Bader down. Now, Douglas Bader was an RAF pilot. He lost both his legs, but he was still able to fly. He uh, ended the war with 22 victories before he was captured by the Germans after Adolf shot him down. And after Adolf shot him down, he met with Douglas Bader and invited him to sit in the cockpit of a BF-109, obviously under escort. And uh, even Douglas Bader joked around about flying it around the, test flying it around the airstrip, but of course the Germans would not allow that. Also, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but Adolf Galland was at odds with both Goring and Hitler regarding how the air war should have been fought, and also what type of armament the aircraft should use and aircraft procurement. He ended the war with uh, 104 Allied aircraft victories, seven of them within the uh, ME-262 fighter, uh, fighter jets. Galland did surrender his unit, both him and his unit, to American forces in 1945. Also, and did you know that Adolf Galland wanted to fly combat missions with the Americans if in the event that the Americans were gonna end up fighting the Russians after World War II ended. So I thought that was kind of funny. So in any way, Check this plane out. Super detailed. Um, it came in this box right here. And uh, just want to show you real quick just how it was packed. You know, excuse me. Yeah, cardboard cover on top. And then two foam inserts for top and bottom. So the aircraft was sideways. The cop hat was sideways. Also, it came with a... Uh, EVA, I don't know, I think they're called EVAs, but uh, in any case, this where is where the stand, the kind of foam, but it had a, a wood bossed uh, or wood grain uh, a sticker or whatever attached. And these are different sections of the stand uh, where this went. That was also on the side of the box. And I'm gonna pick up the cockpit real quick. And this is what the stand looks like fully uh, assembled. So also if you want, and when you're done, or if you want to repack it, you can fit these pieces back in the, the foam. Um, uh, uh, piece right here where they went uh, to the corresponding pieces. Also, this plane came with in this plastic bag, excuse my hands, a bunch of well, instructions on where to place the decals. These are water slide decals. These in the back. 
So you just cut them out. I don't know if most of you guys build models. If not, you cut each piece out individually, soak it in a little bit of warm water. And then when you're done, you just slide the decal off. Uh, again, uh, they have instructions on where to, well, uh, decal placement. Or you can go online also uh, to look at the real version of his plane. Oh, and incidentally, if you're wondering why Adolf Galan used Mickey Mouse, he said he loved Mickey Mouse. And he also loves cigars. And that's why Mickey Mouse has a cigar in his mouth. So that was uh, after the English had interrogated Adolf Galan. These right here are stickers. These are not water slides. And you could place these, there's placements on the uh, the stand where you can, you can put them, his name, Adolf Galan on each side. Uh, Mickey Mouse stickers. Again, you can go online or find out through the instructions on how to place these. The DID stickers go on the front of the stand and on the back. So just to let you know. Now let's get into this cockpit. I got to show you. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. So let's get in. I'm going to shine a flashlight on here in case you can't see. But super detailed. And uh, keeping the camera on the cockpit. Just to show you how detailed this thing is. You have the electric gun sight. I'm going to use this as a pointer. With a plug that goes right into there. I don't know if you can see that. Electric gun sight. Also, his little, little pad in case he crash lands. He don't want to hit his head on his electric gun sight. Also... Off to the left, below, let's see if I can get, oh yeah, you can see the trim, the trim wheel, okay, the trim flaps. So here, we're going to go off to the side here, and uh, you guys need to be real careful when you pull push this panel off. I saw a cat on, uh, on YouTube, he broke the pins off accidentally inside here so this panel comes off and it does show you yeah the wheels for the flaps and trim and there's like a little belt you can see obviously there's no wing so but yeah that simulates that also here right here yeah that's so cool that's the uh, throttle level and booster pump okay and then if you go in here what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you what else this thing does I'm gonna pull off this top cowling right here and there's a battery compartment now when I first got it and I still have it but let's go see the batteries in there I had a plastic uh, plastic strip on the battery so they don't wear but when you pull that off after you open this up there's a little switch right there now check out the, the cockpit I'm sitting there trying to flashlight in there but it illuminates. Just keep it there, and I'm going to turn it off, so you'll see it. Yeah, see? Oh, my goodness. So there'll be four lights in there, okay? And, of course, uh, yeah. So I showed you the trim for the flaps and the, uh, the indicators, altimeters, all that stuff. Uh, pitch control, climb rate. You know, it has everything in here. Uh, fuel pressure gauge. Um oh this right here hang on a second this is the ammo count and uh the other one is the uh, master control switch right here let me see if i'm pointing to the right there master control switch and then these those that simulate the ammo counts uh also on the controls this right here you flip that up there's a safety switch on there that's pretty slick so, and obviously the stick controls the ailerons. Um, and then on the left side, uh, you have your uh, throttle levers and boost terms where I recovered that. You also have your brake release, fuel pumps, priming pumps, uh, starter switch, power kill switch. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. I'll show you. Check this out. I just discovered this. This flips up. This little bit, I can't see what. Just go through the thing, you know, but be careful. There's a lot of things that don't move. 
But, um, gosh, got my big hands in it. Oh, yeah, see that? Did you see that just flip up right there? Look at that. Oh, that was pretty, pretty awesome. Super detailed. And if you come over here, this is your fuel line. That yellow line is a fuel line. The blue thing down there is the uh, oxygen pump. And oxygen valves. And then here, I tucked it behind the seat. Uh, my pilots are in storage right now, but this little plug hooks up into his uh, leather flight helmet for the electronics and radios and things like that. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah. So, let me see, yeah. This red T handle right there, I just discovered right there, is the emergency uh, a landing gear release switch. That's pretty cool too. Also, this one um, comes with the seat with the straps in it. And that has little tabs and inside the, uh, right there. And you just fit them inside those little slots right there. I don't know if the light's too bright, but yeah, there we go, right there. So you just fit those in there. And then eventually, strap Adolf the land inside. I've seen a guy glue these in. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Fits in there. And then you have his shoulder straps. There's a guy online that can show you how to click everything in. Um, this thing's amazing. All right. So then. And then, oh, let me put the strap in here real quick. I'm gonna put the other strap in there. And then you just close it. Be very careful, you know what, use both hands. But also look, you can lock it. Put this little thing right here. And then open it. And that's about it. Um, I was really excited to get it. Also, it comes with um, a flight record. Or flight, you know, yeah, flight record card. Now this is double-sided tape on the other side, and it'll show you there's a placement inside the cockpit. I'll show you. So you just put it right, right there, up against that wall, right there. But there's a, yeah, you know, just be real careful. Uh, you're gonna need tweezers. Tweezers are gonna be your best friends. I use these. So this helped me out a lot, particularly putting that. Uh, electric gun sight plug-in oh my goodness and also this is a handle uh there's three designated places you could put that uh where you can uh open up the cockpit or sliding windows i don't know i think it was for sliding windows or opening up the cockpit and then these little things right here are double-sided uh tape so you put this you know on the end of that and then take off the other side and you can stick it anywhere in the cockpit if you want so hopefully uh, that covers everything. I'm just going to go ahead and shut this real quick. So, yeah. Um, this is awesome. So, and super detailed. And if you're in aviation or 1-6 scale, World War II things, which I like to collect. Not just hot toys. You know. Uh, or jazz ink stuff. But um, hopefully that, uh, hopefully that uh, DID makes a, uh, uh, a P-51 Mustang cockpit. That'd be cool. Maybe a few others. But this will be a good addition to any 1-6 scale collection. Let's turn this light off. And I uh, wanted to thank you all for stopping by. Like I said, not just hot toys. I collect a lot of other things too. So, once again, thanks for stopping by. Uh, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, subscribe. Hoorah. Happy Friday. Take care, everybody.